What's going on YouTube? Um, so right now we are uh, taking off um, the uh, girdle and uh, pistons and rods and crank. Um, so what I did was just take the oil pan off with a bunch of 10 millimeter bolts all the way around. Um, then I took the flywheel off just to get to the rear main seal. And then um, we'll have to take the oil pump and everything off and then we should be able to uh, take this whole girdle and uh, start taking pistons out so that we can uh, just get it to uh, as bare of a block as we can. So uh, that's what's up next. So if you guys are wondering how the uh, rear main seal comes off, um, there's just four 10 millimeter bolts down here, um, one here, here, down there, and then right up on the top here. And then um, so all you have to do after that is take a screwdriver flathead, preferably uh, a larger one, and then you just pry on the back of each side until it comes off. And uh, I'm not re reusing this one, so it doesn't matter if it falls off or uh, you know whatever happens with it. Um, it's good maintenance to uh, replace it when you're going to build an engine because uh, it just helps so you don't have any leaks later on. Um, and it's not that much money, so it's better just to replace it now and not have to worry about it. So, uh, so that's off, and now I'm going to uh, take off the uh, oil pump and um, go from there. So stay tuned. Alright guys, um, so the uh, oil pump is off, so um, there was just a couple, uh, I think about six 10 millimeter bolts here on um, the side of the engine, and then there was just the oil pump, um, like, sucking tube um, that bolted here, and those two here, and I just took it off, um, I just laid it over here, so yeah, there's just uh, two there, and two there, and um, then that's the oil pump right there. Uh, came off with about 10, mil 10, 10 millimeter bolts and then so now uh, I can just take the uh, girdle off and the crank will be exposed so uh, that's what's uh, going on next. Alright so um, I loosened the uh, 10 uh, 14 millimeter bolts um, that hold on to the girdle so um, next step should be taking it off. Um, they are pretty tight so you want to kind of hold something or make sure that the stand doesn't move because um, yeah they are torqued pretty good so just letting you know. Alright um, so the girdle's out. Um, I uh, just went ahead and uh, took the pistons and rods out. Um, it's good to uh, you know keep them all with the right uh, obviously the right rod and uh, just keep them everything organized. Just makes life easier. Um, even though I'm not using these pistons anymore it's just good to keep them you know, so you can see what you have and uh, what you don't. Um, so now I'm just going to remove the crank and uh, probably see if there's any little brackets that I missed and then um, this will be it for the disassembly. Alright, so uh, the block is 99% um, disassembled. Just got to take the bearings out um, and I got to uh, just take the sensor out. Uh, I think that's the oil pressure sensor. Um, out and then the block will be all set to be sent out. So uh, thanks for watching this dis disassembly um, small part series, I guess you could say. And uh, when it gets back and I have uh, the parts, we'll make a video putting it together just for people who want to see and uh, don't know how. Uh, thanks, guys.